and if you're like me and Christmas kind of snuck up on you because <laughs> you're just always home and dealing with stuff well we brought in Kathy Fielder who is a lifestyle expert she owns her own boutique she's just fabulous in every way and she's here to kind of infuse some of that holiday spirit good morning Kathy hey Kathy good morning can you hear me Oh, I'm sorry, it's a little bit, the signal's a little bit off, but yes, good morning, Miss Jenny, how are you, and thank you for your compliments. Oh my gosh, I'm great, and you guys, I'm, I'm telling you guys, her house always looks fabulous, <laughs> and I've been dying to get these tips for myself, so let's talk about some of the ways that you can, if you kind of put off decorating until the last second, how you can just infuse your home with a little bit of Christmas spirit. What are your tips? Well, you know, I think there are a lot of simple little ways, and this should be things more simple. And so, you know, wrapping your banister with um, garland and decorating it with family, you can do gift wrap that's kind of cohesive and has this theme. So it really gives that holiday spirit and it looks really pretty. I mean, they're all little simple ways that we can enjoy it and kind of get back to old school, if you will. Yes, get back to old school. I like that. And I see the garland wrapped around the banister here on that picture. It's so pretty. And I'm thinking I've got some that's just kind of like shoved over in a corner. And I'm going to go home and get the banister ready for, you know, when Brighton walks down on Christmas morning, which will be kind of fun. I know you also talk about sort of yeah. elevating your table with a centerpiece. Absolutely. So there are all sorts of fun ways to make a great centerpiece. You know, get out some of those old, old the old dish room, you know, haven't used in a while and maybe add some floral to it. There's just simple little ways that you can really do things and enjoy some of the older traditions and some of the older pieces that you haven't used in a while. And it's tough to pull all those out and really use them and just remember what this season is really about. You know, some moms and dads are finding themselves for the first time this year sort of being in charge of Christmas, where, whereas sometimes it was like the grandma or the mother-in-law that kind of coordinated everything. And now, you know, we're, we're kind of distancing, staying home on our own. So what are some of the, some ideas for some holiday traditions to be able to create some memories with the family this year? You know, we actually went um, and just made gingerbread houses again and did cookies and decorated. I have a nine-year-old and a 17-year-old. It's a great way just to get that kind of bridge the gap between those ages. And so just little things, you know, I think you were talking about a Christmas morning. A hot cocoa bar is always fun, and you can really get creative and do a lot with that. And so I think that's just realizing what your family enjoys and just engaging them. I am so going to do the hot cocoa bar. I'm not going to tell them that, that, that I got the idea from you. I'm going to take full credit for it. Um, and I think that the hot cocoa bar is going to be a hit on Christmas morning. Um, so these are great ideas for the home. But I know so many of us are looking for a way to safely get out. And you really found a good wrap up of all the sort of outdoor lighting events and, and ceremonial type things we can take part in. Well, there are lots of things we can do. The Dallas Zoo has a drive through right now with all the lights. There's um, prairie lights in Grand Prairie, Interlochen in Arlington. There's um, play There are places in Addison that you can go. So I think it's just kind of a, it's a quick Google. Or, or when I see the best lights, it's great. Swiss Avenue and Old East Dallas is fantastic. And so when it gives you, you know, turn on the Christmas carols, have a good time and just drive around and enjoy, have a great conversation with your family. Kathy Fielder, thank you so much. I hate that her signal's cutting out, but I hope you guys were able to at least get the get the idea and get the info. Thank you, Kathy, and I just wish the happiest of holidays to you and your family and your team. Same to you, sweet friend. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You guys, I have to tell you, we went to Prairie Lights. Um, oh, there's Kathy's info, too. You guys have got to check out her Instagram page. It's gorgeous. On IG at Kathy Fielder and then on Twitter at Kathy underscore Fielder, KathyFielder.com. She actually has a boutique here in Dallas. She has one in New Orleans. Both of them have the cutest stuff. And um, if you're not outdoor shopping, she does it online, too.